So what is a global file system? Why is it needed? What problems does it solve? Let's start with a bit of background. Most people only think about file systems when they need to find their data. Where do they look? They go to a storage platform. But storage is hardware that houses the bits that are scattered across disks or chips or other components. The data that people and applications actually interact with are only visible in a file system. This is the metadata layer within the storage platform that translates those bits into files and folders that they can deal with. But to share those files, we typically have to copy them. If you think back to the 90s, the file system was embedded in the operating system of each individual PC. If a user needed to share a file, they had to put it on a floppy disk and physically hand it to someone who then put it into the file system on their PC. NetApp fixed this by pioneering scale-up storage, which elevated the file system out of the operating system and put it on the network. So now users didn't have to manually swap copies of the file, but they could share the same files across their network. As data volumes grew, companies like Isilon introduced scale-out storage, allowing file access to extend beyond the storage node or individual controller. The problem is, this now introduced another file system into the data center and ushered in the era we call data or storage silos. As more storage types were introduced by vendors over time, the silo problem grew. Then Amazon broke file systems free from the individual data center with cloud-scale object storage that could be distributed anywhere. So now the problem of file systems being trapped in the storage layer had only gotten worse. Silos now included cloud regions and availability zones, and of course, multiple cloud vendors emerged, each creating a new category of silo. The result is the problem of shuffling copies between file systems and platforms went global, which means the cost and inefficiencies we saw with manually moving copies between PCs had now also expanded to a global scale. This brings us back to why the global file system was introduced in the first place. That is, the concept of a global file system is to elevate the metadata layer that users and applications access out of the storage system. The idea is to enable it to span multiple storage systems or storage pools, and to enable global management of data placement and services across those silos. Which brings us to today's topic. Why consider Hammerspace for your global file system?